This morning, new security concerns after a fourth unidentified object was shot down by the U.S. military. We continue to assess uh, every threat or potential threat unknown that approaches North America uh, with the attempt to identify it. The latest incident, an unmanned octagon-shaped structure flying over Michigan's Lake Huron yesterday. Before that, a U.S. fighter jet shot down an object over the Canadian Yukon Saturday. And that came just one day after an F-22 fighter jet shot down an unidentified unmanned object off the northern coast of Alaska. Senator Chuck Schumer says the U.S. believes at least two of the other objects were also balloons, like the Chinese spy balloon shot down last week. Were these balloons? Friday and Saturday night? They believe they were, yes, uh, but much smaller than the, uh, than the one, the first one. But military and NORAD officials emphasize the three most recent objects do not immediately appear to have surveillance capabilities. These most recent objects do not pose a kinetic military threat, but their path in proximity to sensitive DOD sites and the altitude that they were flying could be a hazard to civilian aviation and, and thus raise concerns. Still, they say they can't rule anything out until all of the wreckage is recovered. They don't want to be caught off guard again having a balloon float through sovereign airspace when they didn't know about it. So it may be shoot first, ask questions later. Meanwhile, Congressman Michael McCall, chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee, is criticizing claims from the White House that any threats were mitigated. I think if you look at the flight pattern of the balloon, it tells a story as to what the Chinese were up to. Going over those sites, in my judgment, would cause great damage. Remember, a balloon can see a lot more on the ground than a satellite. It comes as we learn more about the Chinese spy balloon. One U.S. official says the technology bay has now been located off the coast of South Carolina. These surveillance balloons, if that's what this is, they can collect both signals intelligence and imagery. They can get right over our most sensitive installations, our intercontinental ballistic missile silos, obviously very significant. Now, U.S. officials are looking from the wreckage from the object shot down in the Yukon, but ice and weather conditions are hampering their efforts. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.